thought it was a great, uh, well-fought game. I mean, we we uh, we knew it was going to be a battle with Duquesne. They're a very very solid team. They've got a lot of weapons. Uh, the game was tight up there in overtime. Uh, but I think our kids came to play. I think they were very focused defensively, very focused offensively, and we executed when we needed to execute. We got stops when we needed to get stops, and. Um, we made free throws when it was time to make free throws. And different people stepped up. You know, I think you look at the percentage, we shot 60% in the second half. Um, and that's, that we're capable of doing that. And, um, you know, I thought we got good, good floor play from our, from our guards um, as far as tempo and from our shooters. We, it was time to make shots, and we made shots. I want to open up for a question for Aaron and Ashley, so we can get them out of here. Cindy, is this game... The way the game was played, it looked like it was a grind you know, from beginning to end. You finally got a lead and kept it. Can you talk about the um, how mentally tough you had to be for that, and what that means for you in the future? It, it, it does. Uh, you know, we knew that um, you know one of their kids uh, led, leads the nation in steals. We know that they like to pick pockets a lot and kind of penalize you for play, for playing sloppy and taking advantage of that. So that was a point of emphasis uh, pretty much the whole week. And um, you know, we we. In these type of situations, you have the luxury because you've played them before, so you have a you have a better feel. But um, I thought our kids were, were very prepared, and um, they accepted the challenge. I mean, we have very tough kids, and um, you know they, they go and they have a business like approach, and things might not always go their way, but uh, for the most part, uh, you know when we stay together and communicate, think good things happen. Talk to about winning the rebounding battle and what that uh, what that implication had in this game. It is. I mean, that's something that, you know, to win championships, you, you've got to rebound and you've got to defend this time of year. Certainly, you've got to put the ball in the basket. But uh, out rebounding um, is going to be it's going to be paramount in, in these next uh, two opportunities. So, in these, these next two weeks. Question for the players. Only we see you guys year round because there seems to be a pattern. How much how much of play the summer league? Is? It seems like when any of you guys do well in the summer league, it's translated the following season to success. Level, you know, how much because I know you guys had great summers there. How much does that help coming into the season? Um, <laughs> um, it helps a lot. I think it helps you get a feel um, for your players, uh, for your game, and what you need to work on. And it really is during that off season, I'll call it, uh, during postseason and preseason, uh, it's really important to go out there and play. And I know Coach believes that too. Um, just playing pickup, summer league, whatever it is, I think it really helped um, this summer. I know you know you can only play with a few players on your team, but it still helps you get to know the players better and uh, get a feel for the court. So. Actually, I know you got a, a pretty good season too. <laughs> yeah, uh, not our team. But, um, I think it just helps, uh, as far as everybody individually, you gain confidence for um, coming into the season and doing what you what you can do to help your team. I think summer is basically your time to, to work on everything, basically what you your weaknesses, get that out the way and keep working at it, gain confidence. So when you come and play with the two or three people that were on your summer league, you can bring that to the whole team and carry it over to the, throughout the season. Ashley, your thoughts about playing uh, Dayton in the semifinal tomorrow? Um, um, I think we have to play harder than we played today because because how um, how good they are. They have a lot of athletic uh, players and they can beat us at basically every spot, person for, per, for person. So we have to play better as a team to outweigh outweigh that. So I think um, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be I think it's going to be a good game. And um, same thing. We just got to be tough. And I think. I think we have we have the power to to take whatever it is at, in our hands. So I'm excited, and I think uh, got something to look forward to tomorrow. Cindy, as your with Ashley being your senior leader, she's the one that's going to impart that to the team. I just think her actions speak speak the most when you're dealing with uh, with Primmy. And uh, I thought her floor game was very good today. She saw shooters. Uh, she handled the ball in pressure situations against you know a kid that leads the country in steals. So. Um, you know, this time of year, you, you gotta have good post play, but you gotta have good guard play. You gotta be able to take care of the ball, and um, you know we have that luxury of playing sometimes with three point guards on the floor at the same time. So definitely, definitely helps. Coach, as far as today's game, uh, coming into the game, you guys both play uh, very similar styles: tough defense, good shooting, good on the boards. So 
what was your game plan to attack this team coming in, and especially coming out in the second half with the three point lead? Well, I think you, you know, I thought we did a nice job on Lumi in the first half. She got in some foul trouble. Um, you know, she went off there at the end, and she's a terrific player. Um, you know, the kid Orsi, she, she's dangerous as all heck. You know, she's, uh, you don't know when she's going to shoot. You don't know what kind of shot she's going to take, but she makes them. Uh, we, we felt like if we kept those two kids in check, we would have a really good chance um, of outscoring the other. The other. So um, it, it's a crapshoot. You know, you fouls, you, you got it, it's the game. You just play the game. And um, I just felt like we, we executed well and, and we, uh, we made shots and we need to make shots. Maybe I'll ask the question this way, because I know you'll wait to see tomorrow. Is. But those of us that look at data, do you feel better after this week than before there? It's not to say you felt bad going in, but just in terms of where you could end up by the time we all get out of here, you know, the next week. Do I feel better? What do you mean? You know, I mean, I always feel coming to win. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll be speaking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we're, yeah, we're one step closer, you know. I, I just... Um, I think we were a really good team. I think we're an NCAA team. I think that um, we will represent the Atlantic 10 very, very well. Um, I, I'm not in the decision-making process. The only thing that we can do is control what we can control. And that was part one was taken care of today. So we, we, you know, we're going we're to try to win. You know, that's what we want to do. Coach, come back to the rebounds. Uh, Duquesne had 12 offensive rebounds at halftime. Any adjustments made at half, or just it's just the team obviously just buckling down and, and doing a better job of rebounding? Yeah, I think that stat was brought up at halftime, and uh, we, we made some adjustments. We do have very good rebounders that depend on their athleticism sometimes, so we, we kind of box out when we did that the second half. I thought Robinson got some really great rebounds. Um, Cloud got rebounds, uh, Van Grinsman, and these guys get in there and scrap and fight too. So. Um, you know, I think it was a collective effort, and that was certainly a point of emphasis. Anything else?